The University of Otago Library started the Marsden Project in 2013 in collaboration with the University's Centre for Research on Colonial Culture. The project aimed to work with researchers to create an online space where they can interact with the Marsden material held in the Hocken collections. As a starting point, we are focused on the time period of 1808 to 1823. The project time frame was important as the archive needed to be ready for the bicentenary of Marsden's first sermon in New Zealand. Library staff sat down with a number of stakeholders to ask them what they would want from an online archive. We ended up with a list of over 60 business requirements. Working with researchers in this way helped us to ensure that the archive would meet the needs of its users, as well as providing a development path so that it can continue to evolve. The archives team at the Hocken began the project process. Gathering metadata from the 602 items was essential to ensure Marsden's letters and journals are discoverable. Manually recording this metadata in a spreadsheet, the Master Index, was the work of the Hocken intern who was employed by the Centre for Research on Colonial Culture over the 2013-2014 summer period. This was detailed work that involved recording information on how correspondence was transported, as well as address details, identification numbers, and the size of the manuscript. The Hocken intern was also involved in organising the transcripts that were made available by Associate Professor Gordon Parsonson, checking that every transcript was accounted for, correctly named based on the Hocken ID number, and saved in our file store was a crucial step in the process. Having a file structure in place ensured the document arrangement could then flow through to the developers who used this information to make a number of facsimiles for the project. The digitisation of the manuscripts was completed by the University of Otago Library's Reprographics Unit. Over a six month period, they captured a total of 3,651 images. They captured all images on a digital still camera that was specifically set up for the task. Each image was then cropped to remove any excess border and the image was straightened. The time that this process took was significant. However, the dedication of the reprographics team in capturing all of these images ensured the project remained on track. A second summer intern was hired by the library to create a program that would automatically generate the metadata for each item in the project. This program runs across the image, transcript and master index to create all of the metadata as well as separate text, XML and HTML files of each page. These facsimiles were then uploaded to the Marsden online archive. Another bonus of having our own customised program was that we could add an alternative spellings, geographic locations and TEI tags to the transcript as they were ingested. These requirements were identified by researchers at the beginning of the project and adding this information automatically saved a lot of time and human intervention. As part of this project, a number of different platforms for delivery of the archive were evaluated. The solution of Fedora Commons, Isladora, Drupal and Solar was selected as it was a close fit with the existing library infrastructure. Hosting the archive in the University of Otago Data Centre was an easy decision as it allows our users to have access to a high-speed research network. This also meant we could provide authentication for access to users via the Shibboleth Access Federation Turakiri. Development of the site started in December 2013. For the majority of the project, we had one developer working full-time on its creation. He was supported by another three staff who were tasked with customising the back end of the chosen platform and working on ingestion and searching issues. With this project, the majority of effort required came from the need to alter out-of-the-box code so that it met our needs. With over 60 requirements and a fixed timeline, there was considerable pressure to deliver. The effort of the development team was crucial to the archive being ready for the initial release in November 2014. 
Now that the first iteration of the site is online, the pressure is eased slightly. However, there is still a lot of potential for the Marsden Online Archive to evolve. We want to provide a digital humanities researcher space for the archive's users. Additional functionality is being planned. For example, a collaborative workspace that allows academics to contribute to the scholarly conversation and share comments and annotations of different transcripts. The University of Otago Library is committed to continuing to develop functionality that could be applied to this archive and others like it in the future.